What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video and today we're going to cover the latest Game Boy Advance emulator for the PS Vita. And right now I'm currently running off 8.0 and I already did a video on how to install this. If you haven't already installed it, just follow this video and you'll be up to date with the emulator and also it's very easy to install. All we have to do is go to our Vita shell, connect it through USB, download the VPK, transfer it over to our Vita and install it. It's fairly easy. So uh, I've been playing the MGBA emulator and also the emulation off RetroArch and the MGBA emulator is by far the best. It's very powerful and the latest release has a lot of different bug fixes which is nice to see. So let's take a look at the latest release here and it's 8.1. There we go. We're on the official website. Let's click on the first link. And as you can see, we got a lot of different bug fixes, uh, which is nice. Um, we have a lot of emulation fixes, other fixes. There's just so much that they messed around with and repaired, which is nice. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and download this update. And you want to click on that link, the 0.8.1. Go down to homebrew and click on playstation vita let's open up in our folder and we're going to right click and extract the files here take a look there we go let's open up the folder and all we need to do is grab the vpk file so let's go back onto our vita and connect through our vita shell and you must be running on custom firmware. Right now I'm on 3.73 with H on core 2 and it's working just fine. So let's find Vita Shell. Let's run that. You can transfer the files through FTP or USB connection. Let's press start. And I'm going to use the USB connection just because it's easier for me. So let's do that. And press start again. Press select. Now we're connected through. Okay, so this is fairly simple. All you have to do is grab that MGBA VPK and drag it into your USB drive, uh, the root of your USB drive. Or you can create a folder like I did and just keep all your files organized. This is where I keep all of my VPKs. And I already, I believe that I have to replace it just because it's the old one. There we go. Now let's go back onto our Vita and take a look. So once you're in, it's going to be either in your URO or UXO folder, and it's going to be my UXO folder. Let's go to VPK. There's our MGBA.VPK. Do you want to install this package? Yes. fairly easy to install doesn't take uh, rocket science to actually get this running and there we go it's all set let's go back home and there is our MGBA as you can see the bottom is now reading 0.8.1 perfect let's run it alright so let's try something here all right, so let's try Rayman Advance. Here we go, it's loading the game. And we have this really cool retro Game Boy Advance border, which is nice. And you can always go back to the main menu by pressing your triangle button. And we have the unpause, save state, load state, take screenshot, configure, reset game, or exit game. When you exit game, you go back to your main menu with all the different ROMs. So let's just hit triangle again. And let's choose English. Music on. Empty. Let's just get this going, huh? Let's go through the story here real quick. Here we go. Nice. So you can see it's running just fine. And if you had 
a bad experience with some ROMs where they just weren't running great or running really slow or something. Uh, and if you've seen a big difference in this version, please let me know in the comment section. There's just too many games to really test out and see if it actually works, you know, but I'm just going to go by with what the release information says. And that's the reason why they released this kind of stuff, right, is to fix all the issues going on. And it, it's running really good. It's almost 60 frames here. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Um, and you can change the style of the display by pressing square and it removes that Game Boy Advance border and if you press it again we have the full screen which is nice and you press it again it will go back to another style kind of more uh, 4x3 I think and then back to the regular and that removes the border full screen and this, this uh, size here so yeah, that's basically it. Let's go to configure. Oops, got to press circle. And you can see the different. Wow, that, that's OK. So let, let me take a look at that real quick again. So the, the settings is a little off, as you can see. Um, This is kind of weird. You can't really see your, you know, the, the frame skip, zero, one, or I guess it's just barely getting to the edge of the screen here. Let's show our frame rate. Okay, let's go back. Where's our frame rate? Okay, so let's. Can we save that? There we go. We hit save on the bottom. Sorry about that. And as you can see, we have the frames up on the upper left hand corner. It's running at 60. Yeah, it looks pretty damn good. Yeah, this is great. If you guys are interested in me playing some or doing some gameplay on some games on the GBA, please let me know in the comment section. I would be happy to do that for you and I have almost every game for the Game Boy Advance installed which is nice and that's what's great about having a 256 gigabyte card and you can just do all oh look at this this is great yeah, this, this game is a lot of fun I've always loved uh, Rayman it's just a great series of games and very interesting kind of almost like a hidden gem kind of character they, they revived it but it didn't get as much love as it should have i felt like oops i'm pressing the wrong <laughs> well that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching you guys have any questions whatsoever i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up helps me out a lot Take care, guys, and I will see you on the next one.